look, this is coming. And I'm not saying we should do a UBI today, but like the law, if all human wages go to zero or go below subsistence, then the only way to deal with that is through some kind of UBI rather than, you know, if you happen to sue open AI, you get a trillion dollar settlement. Otherwise you're kind of screwed. Right. Some people said the bear case for UBI was something around like COVID as an example. You, you gave people a bunch of money and what do they get, go do? Go ride in the streets. I'm, I'm teasing, but, but like, are people going to use that money in, in a, in a, in effective <laughs> that, way? I mean, that was literally what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, is UBI the form that you would think that like, what is the most effective method? I, the reason I favor UBI is like this thing where in a future world with explosive growth, we're going to see so many new kinds of goods and services that will be possible that are not available today. And so distributing just like a basket of goods is just inferior to saying, oh, if like we solve aging, here's like, here's some fraction of GDP, go like, go, go spend your tens of millions on partly on buying this aging cure, whatever this new thing that AI enables, rather than here's like, here's a food stamps equivalent of the AGI world that you can have access right. to.